Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I realized that I had not made a new video for you guys in like a month or some shit. So, I took a look around, noticed there were some uh, Marvel Legends kind of collecting up. So I got the Black Panther Wakanda Forever Wave Namor. I have the What If Wave Zombie Scarlet Witch and the Loki Wave He Who Remains. Now, I forget Namor's, uh, the actor's name. Elizabeth Olsen is Wanda and Jonathan Majors is He Who Remains slash King. I thought he was dynamite in uh let's look at the packaging for Namor by the way. Thought Jonathan Majors was dynamite in Creed 3. The build figure for Namor is Atuma. That big bastard right there. Let's get him out of there. Let's see. This was the first of the windowless boxes that I picked up. Wanda and He Who Remains was the second and third. So we're going to see what they're all about. You know, I've seen plenty of reviews. I don't necessarily like them still. So I've only bought three and nothing left in the box. So we'll set that aside. Not a whole lot to look at there. Yep. Figure out how to get them out of there. We're not saving the cardboard. That's that. Let's take a look at his trident. There's the extra hands and build a bigger part. Oh. Tried it more of a spear, rather. It is a thin, extremely bendy plastic rod. Nice sculpting on it. It's got green ornamentation and what looks like obsidian blade. Got a weighted pummel end on the back there. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's look at it there. Let's see. Don't do that. There's the arm. The left arm of the other guy. Standard articulation for that guy. I do not plan on going back and collecting the rest of the wave to build him. So, I literally have an extra arm. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. I'll bring it down. Now I can see what I'm doing. Extra hands. We have a right grabby hand. Left fist. Here he is just... Chilling in the in the wrapper. I'd still like a little bubble or window so you can see what they look like beforehand. But whatever. This is Namor. I think the sculpt is pretty nice on his head. Let me get this light down here. Cut the glare a little bit, shit. He's got swimming hands on him. Looks like he can salute. He 
the elbow joints are tight, pinless. They are pinless. Nice. You can, in fact, salute if you figure it out just right. Not bad. <laughs> Range of motion is exactly what you'd expect from a Marvel Legends figure. I like that the ornamental collar piece is a separate piece. So if you take his head off, you can remove that if you want. The upper arm ornamentation is also separate. The wrist gauntlets are permanently on there. Looks like his belt is free floating. It's molded in the pelvis, but you can take that off because if it's supposed to be glued down, it is not. Sculpted toes. The wings are really nicely done on his ankles. Overall, it's, you know, good body sculpt. Let's go over articulation, I guess. It's got, it doesn't look like there's any rotation in the waist. It's got dumbbell there. And, you know, not, not bad. Splits. I like this guy. Let's take off the hands. We'll put the fist and the grip hand on there. Easy enough. I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but my neighborhood is full of screaming children and I don't like it <laughs> let's see let's get this guy in a somewhat interesting position and we'll move on to Wanda been a while since I mucked about with a figure so forgive me if I'm a little bit boring <laughs> he can tickle himself in the butt And it stands nice. And that'll look good on the shelf. If I ever get a shelf together, that is. Let's move him and his flat hands, which would be great for freaking flying. I'll put those aside. Move on to Wanda here. Gotta get the kniff. Now, I made sure I looked at them all before I picked them up, of course. To make sure they hadn't been tampered with. Because you can't effing see inside. But you really have to uh, look carefully at the tape. Now, her accessories are some power effect from for either hand which you know could be adapted for any figure and the left leg for conchu wouldn't mind having a conchu but i'm not gonna buy the whole wave to build them let's see Yeah. Yeah. 
in the trash that goes. Oh, zombie Scarlet Witch. This hair is insane. A lot more crazy than uh, than I thought from the package. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it now. <laughs> Good range of motion because the hair is mostly up though. Makes it a little bit heavy. Crazy looking eyes. <laughs> Looks like the jacket piece can come off with a little bit of finagling. So if you're going to use this for custom fodder like I was going to originally, it is entirely possible to do so. Nicely sculpted, you know, good representation of the material. Good range of motion on everything here. A dirtied up jacket, shredded bottom. I dig it. Let's see, one to split. Yeah, not too far in the up. Her elbows are pinless, but her knees are not. Hip joints, or uh, thigh cut, I should say. No waist, but there's a ball joint in the upper torso. Jacket kind of traffic cones it, but good range of motion overall. Looks like she's dancing though. <laughs> Her knee's a little bit loose. Her ankle definitely looks busted. Uh, it's just crooked. Let's see, will she stand up with all that hair? We shall find out. Sure hope so. Mm. She is Definitely top heavy, but you know, she works, does the job. Really got to find that sweet spot in the balance, though. Let's get the power effect on her. Let's see, how do I want this to look? Do, 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 do. Mother. Yeah. There you go. That one coming out of the hand. I like that. I like that. That'll work. That'll work. And the other one. Just snake it around the arm. Or. So I thought. <laughs> yeah, that, that one will work all right there. Good enough. I still may use the head for a custom project. But for now, not so bad. Move her back there. Hopefully she doesn't fall over while I'm taking a look at He Who Remains. Little paint flex here. He Who Remains is also from the Disney Plus Conchu Wave, as you can see by the skull there. Slightly off camera. Box on the floor. Take a look at the accessories first. Get that paper out of there. It is the Conchu skull and an apple. Because bad guys like apple. Look at Captain Barbosa. He liked him an apple. Now 
this little green Granny Smith apple. It looks good. It does this apple stand on its own. The apple stands on its own. That guy would easily be lost. Conchu's skull is pretty flipping cool. You can see right through it. So you can see Wanda back there through it. Very cool. Does not open. Semi bendy plastic. Rubbery plastic. I dig that. That would look amazing as a predator uh, trophy. Let's get cardboard on the floor. Get Jonathan Majors out of his paper prison. Ow. He who remains. The likeness is pretty good. And Wanda's down. We're just going to lay her down because she's got a giant head. You know what? We're going to lean her up against thing back there. Maybe. Fine. Good enough. This overcoat is sculpted pretty well. It's got a bit of fancy on there. It's hard to see, but it's there. I think I'm going to try to take that off just so we can take a look at the rest of the figure. Take it off just like a wrestling figure. We're going to work with it. We're going to work with it. A little at a time. And we'll get it off. There we go. That's off. Now it looks really freaking funny. Without it. Because it's an ensemble outfit. But like I said. That likeness is pretty good. Good range of motion on the neck. The neck itself is one piece with the torso. There's a ball joint there. The skirted piece is the lower tunic is uh, separate. It will float around and move out the way. Good splits on them. Great range of motion. It looks kind of slim without the jacket. Single jointed elbows, but good range of motion. Nonetheless, he's got an apple gripping hand. And he's got just a gesturing hand. It's like, what's up? Standard hands there. Hula hooping. Let's see. Pinless joints on them. Double jointed. Sandaled feet. Kind of looks like he's just been to a Ren fair. Let's see. Stands just fine. If you guys don't know who Jonathan Majors is other than this, go check out uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. He is Kang, of course, in that. And uh, He Who Remains is a Kang. And then check him out in Creed 3. It's pretty damn compelling or imposing dynamic in that and I haven't seen it but Lovecraft Country and Devotion Devotion being a aviation movie let's see where's the sweet spot for holding the apple 
It just kind of wedges in there like that. Looks like he's offering Eve an apple. I think that is a pretty good looking figure. Doesn't have to be in a dynamic pose because he just kind of stood there, talked, and moved around ever so slightly. I put him there. Can lean forward just a little bit. Let's see if we can get Wanda to stand back up. Let's see, with her leaning back, let's get the arms out just a little. There we go. She's going to be leaning like that for now. And we're going to bring Namor up a little bit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my return to the channel video with Marvel Legends Namor Zombie Wanda and He Who Remains. If you liked the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the packaging. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of me. I don't care. <laughs> Deuces.